Hello and welcome to Wine Jam News with me, Sam Cash. Your weekly wine news at 8 p.m. Please subscribe down below if you want to get notifications every week. Uh, the first breaking news is the Russian River Valley, uh, which is known for its fine wines, such as the Director's Cut by Francis Ford Coppola, which was at the Oscars uh, this year as well, uh, has had flooding in the lower vineyard areas. Uh, the worst flooding, apparently, in over two decades is what has been stated as by the experts. Um, damage is not known yet, so we'll see if this impacts you know, the vintage as such, but um, yeah, it's just come in, really. Uh, this is just as Louis Rodra um, actually just took over a Russian River Valley winery, uh, which is the Mary Edwards. Uh, it's the first time they ventured into this area. So I don't know if that's good luck or bad luck, but um, we will see. Uh, R Australia's hottest summer on record uh, is hitting wine industries hard. Uh, we might be uh, thinking, oh, well, good sunshine and weather would be great, but in fact... Uh, it seems to be the case that the grape yields are set to be the lowest this year, uh, with some winemakers already picking their crops earlier. Um, it was a heat wave basically they didn't really need, was one, one of the quotes. So we will see what uh, the vintage bring out. There's some people saying that it might be lower yields, but it still might be a great crop. Um, reports on weed killer uh, in beer and wine. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Weed killing beer and wine. Um, although that should raise alarms, um, it's stated that even when vineyards are not using weed killer, they're still finding uh, weed killer in the rainwater. So there's not too much that they can do about it. It's also under the stated regulated amount that is allowed to be found in any uh, sort of consumable product. So it shouldn't necessarily be something to be worried about. Um, its uh, its main concern is, you know, you know how much of this weed killer is around in so many products. I think that's probably more of the concern in that. Sense. Uh, WSDA has stated uh, Brexit's new cost of filling out forms. So just filling out forms after we leave Europe um, is re is resulted as an additional. 70 million pounds yeah that's not 17 that's seven zero million pounds uh to the wine trade uh this is also with the added uh wine duty